My name is Nayana Lafond. was most surprising for me people's reaction because when I went through my own experiences that led to me needed needing really needing to do this work um, I felt very alone and like no one could hear me so when I started doing the work and putting it out there the reaction from people who were responding to me and saying that they felt less alone the reaction that I got when I shared it back to the group was over 6,000 reactions mm -hmm. and people reaching out and going, you know, this means so much to me. I lost my sister. I lost my cousin. My daughter's missing. I just started getting these messages. So I said, I'll do one more. And I did one more same reaction. So I said, okay, I'll put a post. Say I'll do anybody who sends it to me. Got 25 the first day. And um, this is the 61 I've that they felt heard and understood from the work it it healed a little bit of me as well and that was really I didn't expect that mm. um, because I had spent so much time thinking it was this subject you don't talk about um, domestic violence and just violence in general and um, a lot of my work gets into abduction and murder and the causes of that and intergenerational trauma and the stuff that like our parents and grandparents just don't want to talk about. But I've been pleasantly surprised to find that my generation is the first ones to be far enough away from the, the initial <clears throat> trauma that started the generational that we can actually have an open discussion and we can talk about the causes and how to fix them and, and why they're happening. And that was, that's been, I guess, the most surprising part. I expected to just make a couple paintings for catharsis and no one to really pay any attention. And then the response has it's been humbling and it's given me a sense of purpose, especially because people have said that it's healing them as well. So it's been good. I tell everybody the same thing, which is just to share the images and to talk about it, to open the discussion. Uh, I was at Indigenous Peoples Day on Monday, and 80% of the people who came to my booth, even people who were presenters as well, didn't know about the subject. And that's happening constantly, and it really surprises me, especially with all of the media coverage on similar subjects. And all of that. So it's just spreading the word, talking about it, sharing the images, discussing why it's happening, that, that sort of thing, because the whole point of it for me is to start that discussion and maybe move toward a place where my community and other communities, because it's not just the indigenous people who have these issues, it's just that our percentages are much higher than other people's. But if we can talk about these subjects and actually start addressing things in our communities, like substance abuse and mental health issues and domestic violence and support and helping people know that they're not alone and that they can speak out, I think that would go far and a step in that direction is just talk about it.